Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of even and odd. This is standard 3.4i in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 10, the 2023 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. All right, so we've got a number 510, and we need to figure out, is it odd or even? But even if we can figure out whether it's odd or even, we need to figure out why. So what do we remember about odds and evens? Okay, so I'm going to draw um, a little bit of a number chart, but I'm, we're not going to go up to 510, right? So let's just start with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, and we will go up to, let's just go up to 20. Okay, so once we get up to 20, I think we're going to see our pattern. If you ever get stuck on the star test, you can always do this. You can make it a little bit bigger if you need to, right? So odd, or, odd numbers can only be put into uneven groups, okay? So like 1. 1 is an odd number because you can only put it into uneven groups. Whereas two is an even number, because look, I put it in two even groups, one, two. Okay, so three, I can put it into one, two, three, but they're uneven groups. Four, one, two, three, four. All right, we see how this goes. Five, one, two, three, four, five uneven groups, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I hope you're seeing the pattern here. I'm going to use blue to show you my odd numbers. Okay, so one, three, because they're uneven groups, five. And then I'm going to use green here to show you my even numbers, even groups. Two can be split evenly. Four can be split evenly. Six can be split evenly. Two four, six. So hopefully you're noticing that we're kind of going every other, which means eight is going to be even and 10 is going to be even. Okay. So watch, I can do 10 and I can split it into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. All right. So I can predict which ones are going to be even because it's every other, right? So I can go, that's 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, all even. I could do the same thing with my odds. My odds are the ones that are not even and they cannot be split into two even groups. So let's take 19, for example. I think that's going to be odd. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Oh, I don't have enough to finish that last one. See, that's why that is odd. Now, here's the thing. We need to go to 510. But hopefully you noticed, you notice these columns? Look at that. The evens on our hundreds chart are always in the same column. The odds in the hundred chart are also in the same column. So if we were to extend 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, we know exactly which ones are evens because they line up in this column. We could take our hundred chart all the way down to 510. That would take a long time. Or if you look at the ones digit, right? Look at the ones digit here. The, if you have a one in the ones digit, if you have a three in the ones digit, a five in the ones digit, a seven in the ones digit, or nines in the ones digit, you're odd. If you have a two in the ones digit, a four in the ones digit, a six, an eight, or a zero in the ones digit, you're even. And what do we have in the ones digit? We have a zero, which means it's going to be even. And our answer here is C, because it can be divided by 2 evenly.